Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to quickly make this fingerprint logo. Now most tutorials online will show you how to do this with the polar grid. I'm going to show you a very quick way to doing this and one that will teach you a new trick that you can apply to other projects. So we're going to first use our pen tool. We're going to click and we're going to give it a curve like so. Pretty decent curve. We don't want the fill to be anything. Now we're going to select a line and we're going to make sure that it has a round cap and a round join. Now we're going to do something pretty cool. With our line selected, we're going to go to Window and Actions. You've probably never been here before, that's fine. We're going to click on Create New Action and that's fine, default is okay. Press Record and now everything that you press will be recorded so you can repeat it. So we'll go to Path and then Offset Path. This dialog box will pop up, we're going to click on Preview. And for me, an offset of around 1.5 millimeters works. We want a round join, and the meter limit for you might be four, which might give you flat, uh, a flat top sometimes. Uh, you can just increase that if you find you have a funny shape right here. So my meter limit is off. Press OK. And now we're going to press Stop. Then we're going to press Play, and this will repeat our action. So if you have very complex actions, this is a really helpful way of repeating them. So having done this a few times, we're now going to create a circle by pressing L and create it, hold shift and wants to be round and center it just above the center. It's not so important like that, maybe a bit lower, like so. Great. Now we're going to select our shape and we're going to go to divide, pathfinder, divide, like that. Then direct select tool, we're going to select these bottom shapes, press delete, we're going to get rid of this and just get rid of all the shapes that we don't want. You might have to double click on some of these. Okay, having done that, we're gonna select our entire shape and we're gonna go to Object, Path, Add Points, Add Anchor Points. And we're gonna do that again, Object, Path, Add Anchor Points. Now using the Direct Select key, we're gonna select some of these and just delete them like that. You might have to, oops. You might have to press twice in some lines and after you delete a segment, move to another line because there's a chance that you might delete uh, the line itself. Great, you can do this as much as you want. Okay, now select our shape. We're gonna go to Object and Expand. Fill and Stroke, press OK. We're gonna select our shape again. Press G, that's a gradient tool. And we're gonna apply a gradient onto it. Now I see that only applied to one shape, that's no problem. In here, we're gonna switch to, for instance, fade to black or whatever gradient you want. And I'm gonna go from a black to a light blue. And then I'm gonna drag the gradient across the entire shape. And we're also gonna the, the opacity at 100%. And go from black to blue at an angle like that. And there you have it. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. If you liked it, please hit like, subscribe, check out our other videos. If you have any questions, write them in the comments or any tutorial suggestions, please write them down below. And of course, as always, have a great day.